Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again and today we are doing something else um, So hey guys, this is my nail collection It would be a waste to not put them to some good use, right? also the reason why I really wanted to do a nail video today is because my nails are extremely extremely long usually I don't let them grow this long um, however obviously I had these nails for Halloween and then this is where we're at at the moment as you can see they're very long I don't have any product on them at the moment also the reason why I want to do it this week is because I don't know if you can see this I am really sorry it's quite disgusting but actually I have forgotten how long my nails are and um, I sat on the chair and my nail got stuck on the like handle and it was pretty disgusting and it hurt a lot so I think they're getting down to a length where they kind of need to go, they need to be shortened down. So um, I was actually thinking about this idea for a while and I'm not quite sure what to choose or to do. Just for future references, I actually want to show you my nail collection. Also if you feel that my uh, voice sounds weird, it would be because I just woke up and I realized that um, I'm gonna lose uh, natural light in about two hours so better get on filming uh, so mm, that's my morning voice I know it's uh, super attractive um, so yeah um, what I want to do is basically I want to go quickly through my entire collection of uh, nail polishes if you're interested in any particularly let me know I can do a future video or review or whatever so let's uh, let's go through this mask. Two clear nail polishes. Um, this one is a standard clear nail polish. It's a quick dry top coat and it's from Conant. Um, it, I think that Conant is actually a well-known uh, nail art, nail stamping um, kind of a um, company. I have used so much that literally has no more print on it. It is clear however I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but it actually has almost like a purple in the light when you put it on your nail. It actually has kind of a purple reflex. You can kind of see it there a little bit. Then we have a um, Essence nail polish. Actually, we have two Essence nail polishes. Um, this is a Nail Art Special Effect Topper. It is in the color 06, you're a gold mine. This one is a clear nail polish that has some silvery gold, um, I want to say, uh, little glitter specks in it. It's quite interesting as a topper. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it on its own. And this one is... Um, Essence Vampire Love. This was a limited edition. I think the golden one um, might have been a Christmas limited edition a few years ago. I'm not sure. This I definitely remember was a limited edition. This color is called 05 Hunt Me. If you can, uh, you will probably have noticed if you use any Essence or even Catrice sometimes, um, they will kind of lure you in with the way not they just package or what colors they choose but actually with their names as well i really like this nail polish actually it's a black nail polish that has some silver small glitters in it matte nail paint by barry m um and it's in vanilla um it looks like this um, to be honest, um, I quite like this formula and I quite like this nail polish. Essie nail polish, now I thought this was quite 
a nice not quite baby blue but it's quite a light blue nonetheless and it's called uh, lapis of luxury lapis of luxury um, it's quite nice as well this is the nail paint by Barry M um, also if I'm not gonna say something is limited edition it's probably not so just assume it's not or that I don't know um, and this one is the color Ridley Road um, now this is um, nail paint by Barry M however this is really interesting because it was part of their um, textured nail effects um, now the color um, it's in the realm of minty green but if minty green was more green okay anyway anyway let's move on um, this is a Avon um, Magic Effects uh, Diamond Shatter uh, Nail Polish. Now, actually, um, I really, really like this one. Um, I was looking for a nail topper like that for quite a while. Um, then another one from A1. This is Gel Finish um, in the color... So for some reason this nail polish doesn't have the name on it, which, you know, is uh, super great. However, I'm pretty sure um, that this nail polish is called Lavender. Uh, it looks like this. Um, now this is, again, Barry M nail polish. It's from their Instant Nail Effects. Um, it looks like this it's called foil effects um yeah really good um that one might have been limited edition as well as the green one from barry m but i'm not 100 percent sure the next one is essence or essence nail art twins this is the color base one um so this would be the first step and this is in the color thelma um yeah, it's just a decent, you know, nice purple that's not too deep or too bright. I know this is a Barry M uh, magnetic um, nail polish. Um, magnetic. Um, in the color magnetic blue, um, this is really nice. As you can see, you do get a magnet there on the top, which is quite handy. Next to are models of nail polish now this is when i started branching out a little bit um it is in the color baby blues now this is i would say a true baby blue i actually really like this color um yeah it's good and then here we have a giordani 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 gold okay this nail polish is actually really good and i'm pretty sure it's affordable as well so yeah. uh and it's in the car color carmine which if you know anything about color you would know that carmine is initial about the day squish and then get the thread color from so that's great we have uh, the a1 magic effects uh matte top coat um, this, in theory, should turn every nail polish you have into matte. Uh, it doesn't really work very well, I would not recommend. Uh, yeah. Um, it's this kind of almost pastel -y, um, uh, purple. Um, it's the Pend nail polish. Now, I can't really make up, make out the name anymore, but it's actually if my camera is gonna be able to pick it up it also has like this little silver ah there we are i think you can just about see um like little silvery sparks it's just quite a beautiful nail polish so i do like that one uh, this video is gonna be long already and i thought it's gonna be like a five minute video <laughs> um then we have the essence new league uh zero two two blue to be true nail polish um it looks like this it, i think it looks amazing i really like this color you do need a few coats to actually get this um to be a little bit more vibrant because otherwise it's quite clear from what i remember pretty sure this was a limited edition but a good one 
Um, then we have another matte nail paint by Barry M uh, in the color Crush. Um, it's uh, quite nice red. It looks quite lovely um, on the nails. Moving on. Then we have a quick dry 60 seconds uh, <laughs> Manhattan um, nail polish in 1010N. Um, you know, just really standard black because I think everyone needs a standard black nail polish. Okay, next one. It's the Conad uh, Hardener nail polish. I think the packaging is rather beautiful, even though it's rather, quite simple. The L'Oreal nail polish in dating coral um, looks like this. Um, so, I thought this is going to be more peach and less coral, but then it's called coral, so I don't know what I was thinking. But don't like that one too much. Uh, I don't know if it was limited edition, probably not. Then here we have the Colorama Maybelline um, nail polish in 51, in 51. So it's just um, a white nail polish again because I feel like white is almost like a necessity. Um, now I will admit that I mixed that one with one of my clear polishes because um, I didn't want to buy a new white one because it's just so rare that I actually use it but now I did completely ruin it because it's not that pigmented anymore so you need more work I should have just bought a new nail polish basically smart girl nail polish in the color don't know because I can't read it anymore but it looks like so and I must say this is probably the best red nail polish I own even though it looks like nothing this must have been bought in Croatia I would say because the writing is in Croatian so I don't know where this brand originates from but this is just this is great it's a great size I had it for probably four years and it still didn't dry out just like as I said most of my nail polishes I had for longer than two years I wouldn't even dare to think about how old the oldest nail polish is that I have so um, moving on um, then I have another Conad uh, nail polish scented nail polishes were uh, quite exciting when they first came out um, I have the one in no idea what the name of this nail polish is I'm pretty sure it was maybe pineapple um, but I really like it because it's this again almost like um, pastel uh, yellow. Then we have a Maybelline Mini Colorama and this is in Candy Apple. I did buy that in winter five years ago. There you go. I'm pretty sure it was five years ago in winter where I bought this because I was just like yes Candy Apple because I actually read the names of the nail polishes and it's just even though in the camera I will say it does look a little bit more bright it's just a really nice nice red so that's why i bought it then we have the number four glitter green um from look um in their colored sand nail polish formula now um hear me out look at this how freaking beautiful is this nail polish now, it has like this purpley pink green flag. So however, for some reason, when I put it on my nails, it always just looks green, chunky uh, glitter on my nails. But it still looks nice, but in here you have gold, pink, blue, yellow, uh, pink, purple, and it just doesn't translate. I still like it. Bipa is like DM or like a super drug in Austria. Um, and they have quite good finds here and there. Next one is the Maybelline Mini Colorama again. This is in the color 100 Urban Lemon. Um, this is a true yellow or a bright yellow. We have the 
cream gloss um, OPI nail lacquer um, in the color icing in color which is I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see um, I would describe it as a black cherry uh, most likely next one is a L'Oreal uh, color rich oh, that's what the small coals are called nail polish and it is in purple disturbia um, it's this purple but it has this blue reef like it reflects blue which is quite interesting so that's why I bought it um, then I have a nail polish that is not really a nail polish this is a sense nail art paper print manicure it's basically just the transfer solution so you put that on your nails you put a piece of paper on and then you peel it off and then supposedly you will have the whatever was printed on the paper on your nail kind of works uh, to be honest I had it for years only tried it once so I can't really comment on that too much then we have the essence color and go um, nail polish that's supposed to be quick drying it's called 142 gray apostrophe T to be here <laughs> I just love it how they name this stuff it's a gray nail polish but it's so much more than that look at that it's absolutely beautiful is technically not really a nail polish as such uh, because um, it is UV activated when I was younger I just wanted this color of nail polish uh, I didn't know what UV means or that you actually need it for be to be able to use this nail polish um, it is from BYS um, it's called nail animal and it's uh, in the color blue bold uh, I really like this color how it just doesn't work without the UV light and I don't have one I still don't have one and I've been hanging on to this for longer than I care to admit so let's just put this away because we're definitely not gonna be using that this nail polish is called 38 choose me um, and I mean Again, I don't know if you're gonna be able. Oh, it's from Essence Color and Go Quick Drying Nail Polish, and it's this really difficult to describe color. It's like a bluish green or a greenish blue, um, and it has this lovely, lovely specks of glitter in there. And then the last nail polish is from Catrice, apparently with the new color and new brush as the. You know sticker would suggest and um, it's in the uh, formula ultimate nail lacquer in 840 genius in the bottle genius uh, who of you knows a Christina Aguilera song that sounds very similar but as I said I really love the fact that they play on words if I can even call that that um, because it does appeal to people like myself really weird it's this yellowy orange kind of color but then it has the shift like you can see there on the sides it actually has this mermaid shift if you will it's like blue and green it's quite interesting actually and I know you don't have to tell me I have a problem just like I do with makeup even though I've been quite good recently and not buying any more nail polishes also just like to add I know it looks crazy in the background this is one of the reasons why I don't really feel like filming a makeup look because I feel like that's very distracting also as you've seen in my collection uh, I have a lot of the same color even though it's not the same so it's like purple but we have four different or five different shades of purple because I know what I like okay also if you notice there are a lot of the same brands because when I bought most of these nail polishes I was uh, uh, skinned because I was uh, in university I was a student so I would buy the more affordable ones or the ones that were on offer if you're wondering why there's so much of the similar 
make also they're really good and they perform well so why not buy the more affordable version if it works right okay so now we can getting into the video okay If you're wondering, no, I haven't done my nails yet, however, I fear that by the time I finish with not my nails, not saying that it's going to take so long, um, but the light, the light is gonna disappear probably by then. So I decided just to do the outro now, even though technically my nails are not done yet. Um, but yeah, guys, I will be inserting the pictures of the nails that we have created that I will be creating in the future, but in the video already created. And um, yeah, I will insert them probably then, <laughs> or now that I'm... I will insert them now that I am talking about that, because just like with makeup videos, it's not like I'm doing anything important right now. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you would want to see more. And yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video, <laughs> hopefully. Bye!